Hello, uh, wow, I've been gone for three, four weeks without posting a tutorial or updates or anything. I am sorry about that, um, I was planning to do some over spring break, but, uh, plans change, um, couldn't help it. And also, I'm occasionally kind of lazy. But anyway, uh, this tutorial is going to be one of the last of my stage hacking tutorials. Uh, stage hacking series tutorials. Uh, that's what I've been doing. Uh, just making a bunch of stage hacking tutorials at the moment. Uh, now I'm... Um, I'm going to finish this tutorial, and then I'm making one on stage effects, such as lighting, uh, camera, fog, um, all that stuff. Um, and then I'll be done with the stage series, and move on. Uh, so now, I am going to be showing you how to make movable parts. Um... I've already showed you how to make animations, um, make animations and people move and stuff, um, or models, but, uh, if you want to actually be standing on a stage part that's moving, that's a little different. So I have, we'll show you how to do that. As always, you're going to need a model that you want to uh, attach, move, whatnot. So I already have one. Right here. Um, I've already made the animation for it. Basically what it does is goes up and down. Very boring. Um, but that will do for the stage. I guess. <laughs> um, so have the animation, link everything up. The animation has to be looping. So that way it doesn't do it once and then it's over. Now, go into your miscellaneous data too, uh, the collision data, right click, preview, and you will see the collisions, uh, let me just move that. I want this, the little stage part right here, to be movable, I want to move up and down like it did in the animation but I also want you to be able to stand on it now if we did as usual make a collision uh, as it goes up the platform the collision that would just stay right here you wouldn't move be standing on thin air until the platform came back down. And you don't want that. You want to be moving with it. So, what you need to do is right click in this empty space right here and hit new object. Uh, at the moment, we can just hide all these, everything else. Make sure your new collision object is highlighted and make a new collision. As I explained in the collision tutorial, hold down Alt, left click, and drag. Uh, and then you can just drag this over to where you want. 
and since it's a floor, change type to floor, characters, or type, always check that, and since it's a moving platform, I want it to be able to fall through. Uh-huh. Now, select your collision, and you want to select bone for your object, um, top bone, because if you look to your model, top bone be factory basic zero one out. Uh, occasionally it might be a bone tree, but you don't need that. That's, you need to concern yourself with that. Okay. Select your model object. This one right here. Open it up. Click the uh, bone you want. Select the collision object and click this little plus sign. Or, of course, you can just right click and hit snap and, well, whatever. What this has done was linked this collision data, which is this platform, to the bone here of the object that's going to be moving up and down. So as this moves, the collision will also move. Um, that's all there is to it. Um, as always, you want to save it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry if, um, my explanation has been, I don't know, not as clear as some of my other tutorials, but uh, I'm a little pissed off today. Um, April 9th, new uh, issue of High School of the Dead. It's supposed to come back after the longest break I have ever heard of for a manga. Or manga, however you say it. And it is only a special issue or whatnot. Uh, and then it's probably going to go on another long break. But uh, I can't seem to get the English version. Because no one has made a scanlation or the English print is not or whatnot. But no need to bother with that. At the moment, all I need to be doing is telling you how to do this. So uh, that's the tutorial. Sorry if I ramble. Um, next time I'll be showing you stage effects and stuff. Uh, don't hold me to that though. I might find something cool to do before that. But uh, give your comments uh, and um, tell me what you think. Got questions? Post in the comments. PM me. Do whatnot. If you have an um, idea for a tutorial, you um or one tutorial done, just uh, PM me and I'll do it for you. Um, until then, uh, see, see you next time. Oh, do you think 17 is a little young to be going to college? I just want to ask that question right here. Alright, uh, bye.